Hello fellow chibis, it's Catching Fire 3 with my stepfather again with the stepfather stepson game or whatever the hell it's gonna be called, I don't even know. I still don't remember. Or I still don't know. <laughs> and this time he's gonna be asking me questions about him that I have to answer. What is one of my biggest pet peeves? Me poking you. Brownie point. Okay. Pet peeve. Bad drivers. Brownie point. Oh. Think about one thing that I can't stand that people do when they do it at this house. You're talking about me, aren't you? People. You're not everybody in this house. Oh, so everybody does it. A few people do it. I still think you're talking about me only, but... I am not. I'm not singling you out. If it's... Ah, uh, let's see. I can only... Oh! Oh! Besides tweak your nipple? <laughs> no, I hate that. It's not one of my biggest pet peeves, though. And when me and mom, like, go like that involuntarily? Nope. Like, wiggle our toe and... Oh. I just think that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, wait, no. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Bite your tongue. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> oh. Take things literally. What do you... Oh! Chewing noises! Like loud chewing! Yes. I hate when people chew with their mouth open. It drives me absolutely crazy. And I'm not saying that I'm a perfect person and I don't make noise when I eat. But some people eat with their mouth open and it drives me crazy. Okay. Even with their mouth closed, doesn't that bother you? No. Like when the, oh. you can hear the chewing. Or is that when their mouth is only open? When it's open and I can hear crunching. Oh, okay. Constant okay. crunching. It's disgusting. But, like I said, not a perfect person, but it just bothers me. All right, next question. Uh, what do you think that was my least favorite subject in school? Which was like 25 years ago. Spelling? Yeah. English. Wait, class. really? Yeah, English class. Grammar. I was always okay. I always got B's in the class, but it wasn't one of my strongest subjects, so I hated it. Huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Jeez. All right. If I, myself, were to um, combine two superheroes, who would I choose? Batman and Spider-Man? No. Oh, because I remember we talked about this and you said something like that. Spider-Man and Nightcrawler? Brownie point. Oh, because you said that earlier and then it kind of jogged the memory, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought of the answer for this one, like, as we were talking, I was doing your question, so. Am I close? Mm, no. Iron Man and Batman? No. Oh, okay. That's too obvious. Yeah. It, would be, it, would, it would be very cool, so that's a brownie point. A duck in Deadpool. <laughs> I was looking at my Deadpool cool, duck. Cool, but no. Negative one brownie point. Oh. <laughs> Can you give me a hint? That won't give it away. We were talking about this character earlier and how they couldn't make it a, a movie on like a regular. Oh. Movie. Lobo. Mm -hmm. And. Batman. Oh. Got the first one right, though. Yeah, I know that because we were talking about that earlier. Oh, my God. Lobo and Iron Man. Oh, no. That wouldn't work. Lobo's, Lobo's like a bounty hunter. and goes after people. It would mean he'd be faster? I don't know. He has a motorcycle now that I think about it. Jeez. Oh, let's see. What other superheroes' superpowers would make him, give him like a great advantage in sneaking up on people? Lobo and Mystique. Damn it. Wait, really? Yep. That's really what it was? Mm-hmm. Nice. Because you think about it, he could be anybody. But then when... He, he could be you! And when they get caught, he reveals himself who he really is, and he's bringing them in. It's pretty good. I bounce between Mystique 
and Nightcrawler, because Nightcrawler can... I actually was going to say Nightcrawler, if not I was Mystique. bouncing between the two, but Mystique was one of the first ones I initially thought of, but I thought Nightcrawler would be cool as well. Yeah, I thought Nightcrawler at first, before Mystique, but I went with uh, Mystique. Right. Um, what is my favorite actor? Robin Williams. Yep. Yes, I knew it! Of all time, and I'm sorry that he's gone, but... All-time favorite, Robin Williams. It's Tom Hanks, though. Very close second. Oh, I would have never thought of Tom Hanks. What's my favorite movie? Big. And who's in Big? Tom Hanks. There you go. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones of his. I movies. remember that from yesterday. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you think is my favorite cartoon from my childhood? The Ghostbusters cartoon? No. Oh. Although good. Brownie point? Brownie point. Okay. So you back up to even the brownie points, because I took one away. Let's see. Um... Mm. Favorite cartoon? Think of, like, old cartoons, classic. Popeye. Mm, close. Brownie point? Brownie point. Okay. Close? Oh, my God. Betty Boop. No. no. <laughs> Betty Boop was a good cartoon. Uh, Betty Boop was cool. I, I have to admit, Betty Boop, for the, her, that time period, was very, very cool. Um, ah. Flintstones? Good, but not one of my favorites. Oh, I'm trying to... I'm going to... I can name off a few. The Jetsons. Good, but not one of my favorites. Okay. What, one of your favorite cartoons... Oh, I've told you before too. That's oh, you part. have. It's the worst part. Oh no. Jeez. Can you tell me the first letter of the entire thing without spoiling it? T. 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 Oh my God. T. 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 And. J. Tom and Jerry. There you go. Oh yeah, you did tell me about that. Exactly. That cartoon used to make me laugh like crazy, yeah, all the time. Every time I can still watch it today, and still it cracks. The original me. though. The original, not the new ones. The new ones don't count. Except for the movie. There's a movie like Tom and Jerry in Oz. That was that kind of good. Yeah, it was kind of good. Uh, or when they they had the power rings or whatever. Yes. What would, what do you think the first thing I would do if I ever to ever win the lottery? Like the first thing I would do with the money. Like what you, what would you think that I would do the very first thing? Charity. Partially correct. I would donate to charity, a charity. But who? What would you think I would take care of? Mom. Oh, your whole family. Yeah. Graham! Everybody. My whole family. I would give a little bit of money to everybody. That's it. Liar. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, family first. I always take care of my family first. Um, do, do, do. Uh, what was my first favorite video game? Pitfall. Damn it. I, re I remember because that's also mom's. Yeah, because it's back when Atari first came out. That was the first game I had ever played on it, and I really, really enjoyed it. Even though it was like, you know, for that... Comment down below how old Michael is. <laughs> I'm 44 years old, I don't care. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, what comic book character would you think that I would think should be made into a movie that hasn't been made yet? Lobo. Brownie point. Oh, I would have thought that. I love Lobo. I would love for them to Because make you told me earlier about would, Lobo I, movie. And I then... would love for them to do it, but I would want it to be on, like, a movie theater. Like, not, I can't. Oh, in a movie theater. Not Okay, not oh. like NC-17 on Netflix or something. Yeah, he would have to be on a Netflix series to be made, because... Lobo, if anybody knows who it is. Like Punisher. Yeah. Lobo is kind of like Punisher, but 
About the same, but still, I think, was worse. Because he's a bounty hunter, and Punisher kills for revenge, Lobo kills for money. Yes. Alright, uh... Look up Lobo, or I'll put it right here, right now. What do you think, uh, if I could be... Oh, no, I gotta word this the right way. <laughs> what do you think is a thing that I would love to be good at that I'm not? Oh, something that you want to be good at, but you're not. Yes. Drawing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. That's messed up. Feeling well, I mean, crushed. you know it's a joke because I have a, a like painting right up on the wall of well, a picture, it's a, a pencil, drawing. It's a pencil drawing, you know. Yeah. Even though you used a picture, it's still pretty good. Jeez. Um, no, we're still on that question. Yeah, I know. Something... Video games. Eh, brownie point. Okay. I'll, I'll take a brownie point for that one. I used to be good at video games. Now I've not been playing them so long that I'm horrible. Let's see. Can you give me a hint? Is it something I'm good at? Yes. Sleep. No, I'm not actually good at sleep. No, I'm horrible at sleeping too, so... Well, actually, that could be something. Do I get a brownie point for sleep? <laughs> brownie point's good. Okay, yeah. But not the actual answer. Something that you want to be better at that you're not good at now. If you're looking at something. Video editing? Computers, in general. Oh, computers! Oh! I know some of the basics, but I don't know everything about them. I like, don't know everything about them. But I've used a lot of... Um, for uh, not like um, for uh, like, editing, like art programs. I know how to do some of the art programs that are out there, and photo editing and stuff like that. I know how to do, but for the most part, in computers, I'm horrible. All right, next question. Mm. Uh, name something that drives me crazy. Getting your nipples tweaked. Brownie point. Me poking you. It's one of the things. Okay, so brownie point? Yeah. Yeah. So, what was the question? Name something that drives me crazy. I can go back to, like, bad driving, but... Drives you crazy. Getting little to no sleep? For any point. Okay. That's a good one. Something that drives you crazy. Mm hmm I can't stand doing it. Drives me crazy. Can't stand it. Bad oh, jokes. No, wait, no, that no. was me. <laughs> oh, what, what, what have I told you that I don't like doing towards you or being, like... Angry! Exactly. Angry. I hate being angry because... I think everything everything can be solved by talking stuff out. I do, do not believe in arguing or anger. I totally would have not have thought of that normally. Yeah. Um, if I could meet one famous person, alive or dead, who do you think I would pick? I want to say Robin Williams. Brownie Point. Brownie Point, definitely. Elvis. Yeah. I would love to go, if I could go back and literally go back in time, just for a selfish reason, it would be go back in time, 1956, when he first started, and see him record one of his first songs at Sun Records. I would love, love, and, and to be able to meet him at that time, before he was super famous, before just to see him as who exactly who he was, and not all the stereotypes that he ended up getting over the course of his career. I would love to meet him at that point in his life. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was torn between... I almost said Elvis first, but then... Because Robin Williams is your favorite, so... Yes, I would definitely love... I would love to meet him, but, uh, like... Elvis is, yeah. like, your number one. Yeah. Kind of, like, well, see, like... When Elvis passed away in 1977, I was only, like, three, three and a half years old. And now, when Robin Williams, I could have met him, because he was oh. around... He was around yeah, a lot longer than, than my life, in my around, 
one Elvis was. Name a bad habit that I have that I wish I didn't have. Bad habit that you have. Have or had? No, no. No. That would make no sense. I currently have. The dry, I don't like about myself. That's the last question I have. You don't a bad habit you don't like about yourself. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm studying your body to try to figure out if there's something. Mm-hmm. Does it have to do with body? No. Bad habit. I mean, everybody has issues with their body. Something that they don't like, but a habit. I don't habit. know. Body can't be a habit. All it could be is get results from having a bad habit. But no, just a habit. Something like you do that you know that like annoys other people and you. Oh, well, it annoys me that I do it, and, and it annoys other people as well. It's just for random like, noises. No. <laughs> no. Hmm. Yeah. Can you give me a hint at least? Unless it'll give it away, and then... You know, it's too, it'd be too easy to give it a hint and pretty much give it away. Yeah, I give up then. <sighs> I'm not exactly the neatest person in the world. Oh! And I would rather be a neater person, but I have been, not like a total slob, but not as neat as I should be, and it bothers people, and it bothers me that I'm that way myself. Well, I'm not the neatest person. I yeah. mean, my room may look neat now, but, like... Kind of neat. Okay, right. kind of neat. Negative like, one. usually it's neat. That's the end of this. Bye.